If you fly micro drones, race gates can make it even more fun, especially if the gates have lights. I wanted some micro drone gates, so I looked around and was surprised by how expensive they are, especially for ones with lights. And a lot of them seem just a little too small for some of my friends to have fun flying through. This is a small series of videos showing how I built some LED light race gates for really cheap, starting around $4 for gates with single color LEDs and starting under $6 for gates with RGB LEDs. There will be multiple videos showing different parts and variations of gates I designed and made. These are the supplies you are going to need to assemble the gate. First, you're going to need the wood base pieces. Part one in this video series explains how to build these. This piece is the main support beam of the hoop. Part one also explains how to make these legs that make the hoop stable and prevent it from being knocked over if a drone crashes into it. The next thing you're going to need is the LED hoop. Part two of the video series explains how to make this. You will need an RGB LED controller. This allows you to power the RGB LEDs inside the gate. This particular one has a USB plug on one end to get power. You might need a power adapter. This particular adapter converts two cell to six cell LiPo power to five volt USB. You will need a way to power the gates. This is a four cell LiPo battery. It's a standard drone battery. Many of us who fly drones already have these laying around. You might want to use one of these with the gate. It's a low voltage sensor. It'll tell you if any cell of your LiPo battery gets too low, so you can leave your gates running for a long time and not worry about the voltage. It'll beep and let you know before any of the cells get damaged. I will put links in the description below for all of the items you're going to need. Here's the base I made for this tube. Now we can insert these pegs. Tube fits like this. Now don't forget that on the pegs, we put a flat spot on one side. So make sure the wires come out along the flat spot so they don't get pinched. Here's the gate I made that has the pegs that are more vertical. The other one has the pegs that stick out further. So this is for the shorter tube. Now we can assemble this first gate. Grab hold of this and hold it near the hole. Makes it much easier if you hold it near the hole instead of down here. Slide this in about halfway. It can go more than halfway, it won't hurt anything. And then slide this one in. Now that stands up. Next, slide this on a post and slide that on a post with the wire going in. You now have a race gate. Plug this wire back on here. Now here's a little device I bought that was also fairly inexpensive. It is an XT60 to USB. This will take six to 26 volts in and output five volts. We can take any standard drone battery that is two cell or greater, plug it in here and we get USB power and has a voltage gauge on it. So you can see if your battery is getting too low. Plug that in there, plug this in here and there we go. It's working. We now have a working race gate and a voltage meter on it. If you really wanna be careful and make sure you don't actually burn up your battery, which this uses very, very little battery to run this, but they do make these little voltage meters that have buzzers for when the battery gets too low. You can plug it in to any LiPo battery. Beeps when you plug in, and now this can sit here on the battery, and if the voltage gets too low, it'll start beeping. It tells you the individual voltage per cell right there, and there's third cell, and then there's the total voltage, 11.5, just like this does. But this will beep really loud when the voltage gets too low. So it's a way to run your gates for hours, and then this will warn you if you're gonna damage a battery. Pretty neat. But there you go, there's a whole setup. And you also have controls down here. You can control different colors, you can control brightness. And with this one, you can go through different flashing patterns. See if we can find my favorite one. There we go, that's my favorite. And then this changes the speed at which it fades. Yep, there's really fast. There's slower, there's really slow. That's probably my favorite. There's one thing I forgot. We can unplug the battery, unplug the sensor, unplug the adapter, and plug that. The nice thing is when you're done to disassemble, just pull that off, this slides out, this slides out, and your gates take up very little room. So easy to pack these. Here's the two gates and you can see the size difference. This bigger gate is about eight inches taller than the smaller gate. The smaller gate has 
RGB LEDs. The bigger gate has fairy lights. Another really cool thing about this gate is that say you don't like the fairy lights, you can just take them right off, make another loop that has RGB LEDs or anything. You can change it so easily. You can make a tunnel by attaching multiple gates together on the same base legs and have three gates in a row, four gates, two gates, whatever. When you connect them all together, they make a tunnel like that. I just have them set on a color cycle mode and I think it looks awesome. Can't wait to fly this. Make sure to watch parts one and two, which explain how to make the portable wood base and the LED hoop. I'm also working on some other gate videos, like how to make a chip clip base and how to make a spiral LED tunnel gate. If this was helpful, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.